Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at near 10 from logic 1, and this is the Python solution. The problem states, given a non-negative number num, return true if num is within 2 of a multiple of 10. And that gives a little note here that a mod b is the remainder of dividing a by b. So 7 mod 5 is 2, because if we take 7 divided by 5, we get 1 remainder 2. And so mod's a really useful operator, and it always gives the remainder when you divide the numerator by the denominator. Okay, so they have a little introduction to mod here. So I'm going to do two approaches here. I'm going to do a standard if approach and then a, a, a one-liner approach, which is, I think, kind of fun. And we look at the example here. Near 10, 1, 2 gives true because we see this is within 2 of 10. Near 10, 17 is false because the closest 10 would be 20, and this is not within 2 of 20. Near 10, 19 gives true because it's within 2 of 20, which is a multiple of 10. So our standard if approach really is just... We're going to check each case, because if you think about this, we can have 8, 9, 0, 1, or 2, because that's going to keep us within 2 of any multiple of 10. So if, if we just scroll up here a second, there we go. So if num mod 10 is equivalent to 8, or num mod 10, should just not put the space here, fit in one line here, num mod 10 is equivalent to 9, or num mod 10 is equivalent to 0, or num mod 10 is equivalent to 1, or num mod 10 is equivalent to 2. We're going to return true, capital T, otherwise you return false. Because what num mod 10 does is it's going to take the, the units digit, or the ones digit, and then it checks for 8. 9, 0, 1, or 2. If I hit go, you see it works in all cases. Now, of course, you can simplify this by recognizing that this here is a Boolean, means it results in true or false, and if it's true, it returns true, and if it's false, it returns false. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Actually, let's just do it this way so you can see it. So we're going to take this entire line here. We're going to copy this, and we can simply return that value. There we go. And notice it still works. Let's call this approach two. All right. Now, we can have a little bit of fun here because, again, what this problem is really, really trying to highlight is your understanding of mod. And, you know, since we're looking for 8, 9, 0, 1, or 2, we can't simply set up a range of values. So, you know, you notice here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different expressions to evaluate. And wouldn't it be nice if I could do one thing and then just evaluate that one expression? But because it's 8, 9, 0, 1, 2, I can't, I can't check a range of values in the same way. So what we can do is if we take 8, 9, 0, 1, 2 and we add 2 to all of these, what's going to happen? Well, the 8's going to become 10, the 9 will become 11, the 0 will become 2, the 1 becomes 3, and the 2 becomes 4. And so we don't easily see a range, like a nice linear sequence here, but if you just look at the ones digit you do, because you get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So to account for the 10 and the 11, we can mod it by 10 again, and you'll see you get the ones digit. So the 10 becomes 0, the 11 becomes 1, and now we have this nice sequence of 0 through 4. And if you take this example of 19 right here, where is it? There it is. Um, if I take 19 mod 10, that's going to give me 9. And then if I take that and add 2 to it, that will shift it to 11. And then I mod that by 10 again, and I get 1. And so if you watch, I can return num mod 10 plus 2. And then we're going to take that entire value. So let me hit go now. Oh, I have to comment out this up here. If I hit go now, and you get this number, see here I get a 4, I get a 9, I get 11. So now I want to take any situation where it's a two-digit number and I just want a unit digit. So I'm going to mod that now by 10. And now I get all single unit digits. But because I've added two, I can check the range. So I can say, well, if zero is less than or equal to num, mod 10, plus two, mod 10 again, which is less than or equal to four, return true, and there it is. So again, this is a pretty straightforward problem. It's just an if statement but it's a great opportunity to kind of play around with that mod operator. I can't stress enough how important it is and make sure you're comfortable with it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great day.